This report shows the results of two data sets, one rendered as a chart and the other rendered as an iReport list component. This report is supported by a database table containing survey results with a gender field. Drag a frame onto the summary band of a report. This will provide a border for the list. Right mouse click on the frame, select padding and borders, and give it a slight line width. Next drag a list component onto the frame. The chart is based on the main query that's associated with the report. This is doing a select count on one of the tables. When the list component was created, a data set was also created. And the data set is an opportunity to run another query for the report. In this case, this is a query that's doing a maximum on a consolidated view of the results data. There's also a lookup being done to take the M or F gender code and make it something more printable. Press the Read Fields button and this will provide you with the field data. And then for the list component, a right click and double check the data source. Since they were created at the same time, data set one appears up at the top. But I'll use the connection. I want to use the same database connection as I'm using for the main report. And in this case, select Use Connection Expression and it produces the following uh, expression. Next, I'm going to drag each of the fields onto the list component. Value is the gender code, or the printable gender value. And you can't use the main data set with a list component. And to test the report out, I'll press Preview. And so there's a report produced running two SQLs, producing two very different looking results, one a chart and one the list component.